Greetings from Japan. Uh, I still have my cold. Thank you for asking. Um, well, okay, I have, I still have a cough. Sorry, the microphone's kind of, um, in the shot, because I don't know if you can... I have some pretty limited space here. Um, I'm sitting on my bed, facing the computer, which is on a desk. Something's fucked up with the camera. The focus is off. <laughs> That's not really better. <laughs> this is a box. Um, there's three of them. There's a quilt on it drying because I had to wash it. Um, <clears throat> uh, I, my last few videos have been from the netbook, which is kind of shit quality. I think we can all agree. Um, this is on the PC. I revived it. Um, it took a beating from the Korean Postal Service. I probably should have mm, seen that coming when they told me they don't insure computers. Implying they don't really take care of them. Um, what I should have done is take my hard drive out of the machine before sending it. Because I packed the inside with newspaper, but I didn't really think about it fully. And therefore, it was like complete inside. And when it arrived here, uh, I opened the box and heard ominous rattling. And went, oh shit. I hope nothing on the motherboard snapped off. Like, I was like, this thing is trashed. And I opened it up, and everything was fine, except the plastic tray that was holding my hard drive into the tower had completely snapped off on one side. So the hard drive was just rattling around loose inside the tower. I was like, fuck, that's not good. So, I got all the components, so I got a keyboard and a mouse and speakers, um, I saved the mic and the camera and the, the monitor from Korea, um, <clears throat> but I got all the parts, put it together, it didn't work, um, what happened was, it turned on, kinda, um, the power unit word, but there was no input response from the motherboard or the hard drive, and the sit monitor was like, I'm not touching anything. Um, and I went, shit, 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 shit. Because um, since I've had this, hard since I rebuilt the machine, my hard drive is a terabyte, and I only have one other terabyte external, and it holds other stuff like there's no space on it for me to clone machine so I'm gonna have to do some shuffling around I think over the next week and like move move the files that are on the terabyte between because I have a 500 another 500 external and then a 500 left over from the old machine it's basically the old machine I haven't touched any of the files from it so I was thinking if I just um clean those off and then use the terabyte to back this up that would be good um because I really should do that more often um <clears throat> but so it didn't work and I was thinking fuck but it was also doing something weird um the power button like it turned on by the power button but it didn't turn off by the power button or the power switch on the back it just kept going and it would keep going until I unplugged it and that made me think okay maybe this isn't a hard drive issue maybe this is a power unit issue did the power unit get fucked up like the voltage is the same here as Korea so that shouldn't be an issue um, so but power units are much cheaper to replace than hard drives. So, before I went out and paid somebody to do, like, data recovery on my hard drive, 
I went to Big Camera and I got a power unit and I did stuff in their repair section and I did pay them $28, no, 20, 20, $24, I think, like 2,400 yen, so probably more like 26 or 28 dollars, um, to just check that the hard drive was alive. Like I brought the hard drive with me and was like, can you just like plug it in and see if it's dead or not? That's because if it's dead, then I need to be thinking about fixing it. But if it's alive, I'm not going to do anything. And um, they were like, yeah, sure, you know, it'll cost you this much to check. And I was like, that's fine, because that's fine. Um, and <laughs> I love that when they when they came back to tell me, um, they used the verb um, ikiru, which means to live. Um, so you know how we always go, it's alive, like when you revive a machine. Well, <laughs> my hard, or you say, you know, my hard drive's dead. Not my hard drive's broken, my hard drive's dead. Um, mine's not dead. He was like, it's alive. <laughs> I was like, that's great. So he's like, yeah, it doesn't seem like there's any, it's, I mean, we only took like a surface glance, but it seems to be okay. Okay. So I took it back and, um, that was, that was the iPhone pinging about something. Um, probably email. Um, and so I took back and, um, I had to buy a set of screwdrivers because I don't know where mine went. I don't think I packed them. Um, and then I put together on the kitchen table and like very careful, make sure everything was plugged in. Although the main fan in my tower isn't going. I think like I missed a power cable somewhere, but I don't think there are any more free. So I'm not, I have to get like an extender adapter, my bobber thing. Um, but yeah, uh, put it all together, plugged it back in, and it ran! It had, um, a bit of a boot loop for a second, and I turned it off and turned it on again, which, it's had that problem before, and just turning it off fixed it, so, um, there's a green dot on this, and I don't know why, um, but yeah, so, did that and it, it was like yeah I got out of the boot loop but then it went ooh problem starting up and I went ah fuck um, so I ran the system restore diagnostic and it worked thank you that almost never works Windows I love you um, you're near and dear to my heart and not just because my father helps make you um, but also because I get you Windows I get you I know what you're trying to do. I know what it's like out there, Windows. You know, when people, they get all wrapped up and they're like, Windows, you're just not the same since XP. You know, you, you sold out. Vista was crap, Windows. It was crap. You promised us so much and you just let us down. But you know what? For the people who are still hanging out on XP, 7 was really good. Like... 7 is what Vista was supposed to be. Like, even Microsoft people were like, they got rid of Vista as soon as they could. They As soon as they had something that ran, they were like, fuck it, and installed it. Like, Screw Vista. Nobody liked Vista. Microsoft didn't like Vista. So, forget Vista. Go to 7. There's a, it's a really easy upgrade from XP. Like, they specifically have a, a format for doing that. It, I think if you're going from XP, you do have to do like a complete, um, like you can't just put it on top. You have to like actually do a system change and reinstall shit. But it's it's not that hard. Um, that said, um, I'm not sure when eight is supposed to come out. Um, but it's soonish it's hard to tell um I don't know when Microsoft has projected it to come out I know they've got it in beta testing somewhere so I want to say it's coming out like next year so you might want to hold out for that but honestly I think 7's worth it and I think 7 will get you through um it's just nicer <laughs> So, but that, that was great. The restore utility worked. Everything worked. And I was so, oh, it was such a relief. It was like every time I take this machine apart, um, 
Uh, like, I know, I built this thing. I, like, every part of this thing now, I built. Um, it was originally a unit that my father put together and gave to me based on my specifications of what I needed, um, which I progressively upgraded myself. So I upgraded the video card myself. That was the first thing I'd ever done. Like, I'd put stuff together, but I didn't know what the parts were when I was little. So, like, I was like, okay, I'm gonna plug this in, screw this in, and I didn't know what any of it was. I was just going by my father's direction. So, I was cat hair on the microphone. Um, so I had the, um, <clears throat> I upgraded the video card, which I still have. This was like 2008. I think maybe 2007. It was a while ago. It's a pretty old video card, but it's still holding on. It's um, an NVIDIA GeForce something. Um, and basically I got it so I could play Sims. <laughs> Not gonna lie. It was, it was a Sims purchase. Um, but I got it on Newegg for a pretty good deal. Um, put that in. That was exciting. Um, because I just had an onboard card before that, and so I upgraded to an actual card with its own fan and shit. Um, <laughs> and, um, and then after that, when I got to Korea, um, about a, about a year after I got to Korea, it started um, having some problems. It had this weird overclocking error, which was weird because I hadn't set it to overclock. Like, I'm not a gamer, really, so there was no reason for me to make it overclock at all. So it was like, overclock, shut down. Overclock, restart. Like, what, I, what are you doing? And, um, it finally got to the point where it would only run for, like, three or four minutes before it would shut down and restart itself. And, um, I did a little research online, but I really could not find... So I have to turn, my back hurts. Um... I couldn't find an actual explanation for what the hell that was because I had not set it to overclock so all the explanations were like well you need to turn off your overclock I didn't turn it, to, it's not on, I just checked ran through the freaking bias it's not overclocking um, so I was like okay, well this machine is pretty old now so let's assume that either the CPU or the motherboard, possibly both are on their last legs, kicking it, basically. Um, this is like the story, the background story of my computer. Um, so, so I was like, okay, this is a pretty old machine. Um, tower kind of sucks. It's meant it was a compact tower meant for easy transport, but it overheated really easily because of that. And it was kind of a weird shape. It was, it was like a box shape. It wasn't a tower shape. Um, so, uh, so yeah. So I went to Yongsan and I picked out. Um, I picked out a motherboard. Picked out a CPU for it. Um, it had to upgrade the hard drive already, I think, because the hard drive started to go. Oh no, no, here, that was what happened. <laughs> um, when it was kicking it, at the same time as kicking it, um, I had to upgrade my hard drive um, because the old one was dying. Don't go to sleep, computer, I'm using you. Um, <laughs> there's another cat in the neighborhood that cries at night and she can hear it, so she slowly wakes up. She's like, What's going on? And then she looks out the window. Um, there's a window here and a window here, but there's blankets and shit over them, so, um, and when I, when I upgraded it, I cloned the drive, but cloning the drive doesn't keep the Windows signature, so my Vista that I was running deactivated, I hate that, it's deactivated on the netbook right now, because Korea gave me a pirated version, thanks Korea, um, <laughs> uh, so, so I had to do that. So I already had a new hard drive. So I got the new hard drive, and um, I cloned it and deactivated. And then I got another hard drive because I couldn't put Windows 7 over a deactivated. I, it was acting really weird. So I got a new hard drive. Got Windows 7. I got 
um, got the new motherboard, got the new CPU, I had to get a new tower to put everything in it, to get a new RAM, because it was uh, like a totally different kind of RAM, and um, <laughs> I had to get a new, um, I had to get a new CD drive, because my CD drive power was the pre-2009 changeover to like, they use a different cable now, so, um, my old one was like really obsolete. Um, and, um, so I really did build this entire machine myself, um, which was a new thing for me, and it, it worked out well, I think. But as a result, I really do know this machine quite well, so when things go, I, I have a much better idea of what the problem is, like, I was, I was always pretty good with software, but now I'm like, okay, I've got a general idea of hardware now, and I can, like, fix my machine when it breaks. I couldn't do, uh, I had to, did have to pay for the diagnostic for the hard drive, because I really wasn't sure if it was alive or not, and if it was dead, I didn't want to make two trips. So if it was dead, I wanted to be like, yeah, I'm gonna, I want to, you know, do recovery for this. But it was dead, it was alive, it was fine. So, yay for that. Uh, I'm really impressed with the hardiness of this hard drive, because it probably took a beating. It, like, that tray was snapped. It was either dropped or tossed. Like, it was banged up, and it lived. So, I also stuck it in the freezer for a while before I tried to use it again, which I don't know if that helped. Um, sometimes it does. Like, if your hard drive is acting weird and having... Really? Really? Now? My cat, ladies and gentlemen, most... I don't know, what, what do I even call you? You're like, you're like disrespecting me right now. Don't walk on my keyboard, oh my god, you're fat, you're gonna break it. I will not go for Mike. Um, Yes, so, what was I talking about? This is a long video. Um, <laughs> sorry. Uh, yeah, so, um, built it, put it back together, and it works great, so yay for that! And nobody's gonna watch this video, because it's just long and me babbling about building that machine. But that's okay, I'll get like two views, or four views, or something, and like, three of them will be me. <laughs> if you watch this, please leave a comment, because I will be very interested to know who is watching this. I'm going to end this video before it gets to 18 minutes. Bye!